Hi guys, Miss M back with another video. And as you know, this week we are reviewing a lot of our geometry terminology and a lot of geometry problems. Uh, today we are gonna be reviewing and practicing how to find and solve supplementary angles and complementary angle measures, doing different problems. So I have a couple of terminology words and some examples right here just to show you the difference between the two. So go ahead and you can pause the video anytime that you need to, to write down things down or write down a problem because we are going to be doing a majority and a good chunk of problems where we will be finding complementary, supplementary, finding a full rotation angle, and even finding those crazy problems that you guys didn't really like in the classroom where we had combined supplementary and complementary together. So let's talk. Let's get started. So a complementary angle is angle measures that when added together, they add up to 90 degrees. And we know when something adds up to makes 90 degrees, that makes a right angle. Supplementaries are angles are when angle measures add up to 180 degrees and they make a straight angle or a straight line as we called it. So here we have an example of a complementary where I, we see that we have a right angle right here and then we see we have another ray strick, sticking out and we have two little um, little half circles to show that we're trying to find what those angles are. And we have angle A and angle B. Now when we have angle A plus angle B, we know it's gonna add up to, uh, add up to 90 degrees. And then we would figure out, well, what exactly is angle A worth? How much is angle B worth? Usually they'll give us an angle, one of the angles, and we could be able to subtract that angle from 90 to figure out what that missing angle is. Now supplementary, right here, angle E, B, C is our straight angle. So we know that this, because it's a straight angle, it's gonna add up to 180 degrees. We are given already an angle right here, so our job would be able to figure out, well, what is angle A, B, C worth, and what is angle D, B, C worth? And when we add them all together, it should give us 180 degrees. So we would subtract different angles. We would subtract 100 from 180 to figure out, you know, exactly what's going on. We're going to talk a little bit more about that, but let's just get started. Okay, so stick with me if you need to pause the video anytime, pause it, because we're going to be doing a lot of different problems. So I have, let's make our nice angles. Now remember, this is intersecting angles. This also could be per, um, intersecting angles because, you know, they're intersecting at a point. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, we'll just go with it. Okay, so it's not exact, so I'm gonna fix this a little bit, and I'm gonna make it stick out just a little bit more because I want it to be a certain way. Mm, it's a little bit better, that's okay. So I have an angle that's worth 138 degrees. Let's do, this angle is F, here is G, K, N, and D. We're trying to figure out exactly what are these other angle measures here. If I need to be finding, because they want us to find out what angle D, G, K is worth and what angle N, G, K is worth. Well, to start off with, I know that <laughs> these are all straight angles. So I know I'm gonna be using 180 degrees. That's going to be the number that I'm going to have in my head. I'm going to figure out <laughs> what angle this angle is right here. I want to find out what angle NGK is. So I'm going to ignore this line and I'm going to focus on these two angles here because I already have the start, a starting angle of 138. This is a straight line. So I'm going to subtract 138 from 180. So I'm going to do 180 minus 138. Go ahead and subtract. Okay, so I get 42. Now I can go back and I can add 138 plus 42 just to check myself. It should give me exactly what I'm looking for. It does. So angle NGK is worth 42 degrees. Now that I have that angle measure, I can figure out what angle DGK is worth. This line right here. So I know this is worth 42 degrees. 
I'm gonna figure out what all of this is. So I'm gonna do 180 degrees minus 42 degrees, and that should give us exactly what angle DGK is worth. Mm -hmm. Oh, so angle DGK is worth 138 degrees. It's the exact opposite of the angle over here. So now of angle FGN. Now if I figured out what exactly, if I wanted to figure out what exactly angle FGD is, I would take 138 and subtract that from 180 and I'm gonna get uh, 42 degrees, okay? So that is one of our problems. That's where we are given an angle measure and we're trying to figure out some of these different types of unknown angle measures. Remember, straight line is 180 degrees. That's gonna be our biggest help. All right, let's keep going. Now I have, it's okay if they're not exact. They're not perfect, that's fine. As long as you're able to figure out. All righty, so now, we have a straight angle, as you can see, but we it's broken up into three different angle measures. And we are given two, and our job is to figure out what this unknown angle measure is. Well, we know because this is 180 degrees, everything's gotta add up to 180 degrees. The best way to solve this is that you're gonna take these two angle measures, and you're gonna add 57 plus 37. You're gonna add them and then you're gonna subtract that total number from 180 degrees. And that should give us this unknown angle measure. And of course, we're gonna check all along the way. So seven plus seven is 14, carry the one. So that's 90, so I get 94. I'm gonna subtract 180 from, nine, uh, from 94 from 180, excuse me. Go ahead, do your subtraction. <coughs> Eight. So I get a total of 86. Now I want to be sure, so I'm just going to do 86 plus 94 because there's no reason why I need to add 57 and 37 when I found the total. So that's going to be 10, 9, so that's 180. So my missing unknown angle is worth 86 degrees. Okay, it's worth 86 degrees. All right, let's keep moving. All right, so we learned in the classroom, that was some of the, our solving supplementary complementary. We're gonna turn over into a different type of problem that we did in the classroom, where we talked about full rotations and trying to figure out the missing, how much is missing from a full rotation. So. We talked about a full rotation is worth 136 degrees. So one rotation equals 360 degrees. That's gonna be important because I could take this figure and move it all the way around and it will still be the same, okay? So what's gonna happen is all you're gonna do is you're gonna take 136 degrees and this 45 and you're gonna subtract them because that's gonna tell us how much is missing. So I'm gonna do 360 minus 45. Go ahead and solve. So B should be worth 315 degrees. Now I'm gonna add 45 just to be sure, you know, just check your work. Mm hmm So angle B is worth, not ang rotation B is worth 315 degrees. All you do is that the angle measure that they are giving you, you subtract it from 360, and that's gonna give us either the inside unknown angle or the full rotation, how much more is left in the full rotation. Those were not terrible. You guys did well, very well with those in the classroom. Now we're getting a little bit crazier with our problems, and that's okay. You guys did very well. 
So I have no doubt in my mind that you guys will do great with this. So we are trying to figure out what angle C is worth. That's our goal. Now, the same thing as the last problem. This is worth a full rotation. So remember, full rotation is 360 degrees because I could move this, turn this, or move it around, and it's still going to be the same. So knowing that, <coughs> what you're going to do is you're going to take the angle measures that you have. So I have 100 and 115, and I'm going to add them together. The reason why I'm adding them together is because we're trying to find this unknown angle. And I said it's a full rotation, so we're gonna subtract 215 from 360, and that should give us what C is worth. Let's go ahead and subtract. Now, if you haven't been noticing, it's a lot of adding and subtracting, and that's how we find these unknown angle measures is that you have to add angles that you have or and then subtract them. Or if you're only given one, you have to subtract it from the 180 or whatever amount is left. Okay, so it's a lot of adding and subtracting to find these angle measures. So I get an answer of 145 degrees. Well, I'm going to add 145 to this 215 just to make sure, because remember we want to check, and I get 360. So my so C is worth 145 degrees because when I add 215 and 145, I get 360, and I know for a fact that this makes one full rotation, which is 360 degrees. All right, stay with me, guys. We're almost at the end, and we're almost at the end of review. So I'm gonna do one complimentary type of problem, so that way you can figure out how to solve it. Oops. Loud marker. So. We are given angle, let's do this, it's going to be K, this is L, and this is M. We are given an angle measure of 38 degrees, and we're trying to figure out what this unknown is. Now remember, complementary angles are angle measures that once added up, they make 90 degrees. So we know this is a right angle, so we know it's going to be worth 90 degrees. Now I can write it up as question mark plus 38 degrees equals 90 degrees. Okay, so our job is to figure out what this question mark is. So I'm gonna subtract 38 from 90. And the reason why we're subtracting is because we gotta figure out what this unknown is. And you can't figure out what the unknown is, and you can't guess, you can't just say, well, I've got 38, maybe it's gonna be 52, maybe. No, you can't guess that. You want to find the accurate. Remember, when we do angle measures, it's all about accuracy. When we used our pro chapters in the classroom, you had to be exact when they were asking for exact. So to find what is missing, they're asking you for the exact amount. You can't just kind of guess. So I get 52 degrees. Now I'm going to check because I like to check. So I'm going to add 38 to 52 and I get 90 degrees. So the angle of unknown is gonna be 52 degrees. Okay, so you're gonna take what you have, subtract it from 90, then I did my check. It's always good and important to check, so make sure you check your work, okay? And now we are moving on to one last problem, the big problem that you guys did not really enjoy in the classroom. And I don't know why, I thought they were very fun problems. A lot of fun. Oh yes, oh yes. So that's angle O, here's X. This is U, W, Y, and V, okay. So we're gonna be finding a lot of angles. Now remember, when we see these problems, don't freak out, don't panic, because it's really simple once you get started. Remember, these types of problems are made up of supplementary and complementary angles. So our job is to figure out exactly what are these angle measures. We're gonna find angle measures for J, K, let's do an M. We got to find three angle measures. Now let's start off with something that we see right away. 
this little symbol, this little square indicates that this angle, angle Y, O, V or V, O, Y is worth 90 degrees. And I'm gonna put 90 in there because it's easy. I got another angle. Now, I'm gonna take all that information and I'm gonna figure out the angle measure of angle J. J is what I want. This is a straight angle right here. So that means I'm gonna be focusing right here. Now, just like we did on the last, the first couple problems, I have, this is 180 degrees. I have two angle measures. When you have two angle measures, you add them together, then subtract it from 180 degrees. So I have 90 plus 46. <coughs> Excuse me. So I get these two angles are worth 136 degrees and I'm gonna subtract that from 180 because I'm gonna find my unknown. So that's gonna be a seven, 10. And I get 44 degrees. Now I can go ahead and I can add that to here just to double check, but we're gonna check a little bit later. <clears throat> so that's 180, perfect. So angle J is worth 44 degrees. I'm gonna write that down right here. Okay, and I'm gonna erase because I'm moving on. So now that I have that, I can easily find what angle K is worth. Now I can go about it either which way. I could either go across and have figure out K by using angle U, O, V, this line right here, and look at these three, or I could look at W, O, X again, but look at it this way. Now, when I look at it this way, I'd have two missing angles and I can't really do that. So I'm gonna use angle U, O, V, and I'm gonna take a look at these three. Now I'm given 90 and 44, and I'm finding what the unknown, which is K. When you have two angle measures, if you need to write this down, write this down. If you are given two angle measures, add them first. After you add them and get the total, then subtract that total from 180 degrees. That will give you your unknown. So I have 90, and I'm gonna add that to 44. <coughs> Thirteen, and then I'm going to subtract 134 from 180. Go ahead and subtract. And I get 46. And then I can check it over here just to make sure. There the one. Mm -hmm. So angle K is worth 46 degrees. I add the two angles I have first add it, get the total, subtract that total from 180 because this is a straight angle right here. Okay, then you can check along the way. Now, I'm gonna find angle M. Now, I can find angle M two different ways. I could find it with using angle WOX and find it this way, or I could even use UOV and go this way. Either way will work. Okay, I'm gonna go, let's do angle W-O-X. Now you see I have a bunch of different lines and colors just so that way we are aware. So I'm gonna use this color now, purple. So I have one angle measure and I'm trying to find my unknown. And when you have one angle measure, you just subtract it from 180 degrees. Let me repeat, when you are given one angle measure, Subtract that angle measure from 180 degrees. And that's how you're gonna find your unknown. When you are given two angle measures, you add them together and you subtract that total from 180 degrees. Two angle measures, add then subtract. One angle measure, just subtract. So I have 180 degrees because this is still a straight angle. And I'm gonna subtract 46 from 180. and I get 134 degrees. Now I'll add 46 just to check my work. And I get 180 degrees. So M is worth 134 degrees. Now, looking at all of this, this still makes a full rotation. 
It makes one full rotation. I could turn it, twist it all these different ways. And when I do, it should add up to 360 degrees. And I'm gonna check that. I got 134 and I'm gonna add 46 to it. Our goal is to get 360. And if I get 360, guys, that means I did it properly. Everything is added correctly. I found all my angles correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add, okay? And I'm gonna check them off as I use them. So I'm gonna add. 17, all right, check it, I'm gonna keep adding, I'm getting close to that 360, so that's 11, 314, and then 46. And I get 360 degrees. So when I add it all together, I know, because I hit 360 and add it all up to 360, all of these angle measures are correct and I solved the problem correctly. All right, guys, until the next video, this was just a review on our supplementary and complementary angles and a lot of the crazy stuff that we did in the classroom. Until the next video, bye guys.